So what I'm gonna take you through here is a mobility circuit that can be done either on its own or as part of a warm up. So we're gonna start with Lazy Bear. So we love, we love a positional breathing drill here at tier one. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna reach long and tuck. You're gonna give me two, sorry, two sets of five exhales first. So you're feeling abs, you're reaching long through this point here. Once you have done that, you're gonna move onto your backs and we're gonna to go to a straight leg raise. So in a straight leg raise, we're chasing hip mobility. So on here, I want your feet together and your toes up and your back flat. So giving it a good exhale first to get your back nice and flat against the floor. And you're gonna give me six leg raises on the left and six on the right. So this ensuring your toes are pointing up all the way throughout and you're firmly pushing that down leg into the floor throughout. So you feel some nice, some nice set of abs and a nice stretch around the back of your legs as well. So six to each side of those. Once you've done that, when you go into the egg rock, so you sit up right, egg rock, grab hold of your knees, knees in the chest, and you're gonna roll back onto your shoulder blades and come up. So ready? When you give sort of six reps of those. So get his knees right into your chest. You should feel your abs as you come up. Really, really good, putting a flexion, point of flexion for your lower back as well. Knees and chest, Thomas. Knees and chest, buddy. And don't knock yourself out while you're at it. <laughs> You're getting ever so close to that mirror now, buddy. <laughs> Six to eight reps of those. And once you've done that, you're going to go onto your front. On your front, you're going to do a cat camel. So a cat camel is like lazy bear. Knees into hips, wrists into shoulders. Here, we're going to tie your breath work into it. So as you reach long, you exhale. And forming, that's it, the cat, and then the camel here. When you go into the camel, don't crank too much on your lower back. So come down. Don't crank here, keep it about sort of neutral. Then exhale, inhale, chest up, inhale, chest up, chest up, and exhale and round off. So we've done that six times. We're then gonna go into the downward dog or the push it downward dog. If you can do pushes from before, great, then do them. If you can't, don't worry about it. Just do the downward dog. So let's do a push it downward dog, boys. So reach long at the top, drive the heels to the floor, so you get a nice stretch in the back of your calves and the back of your legs. Also create a nice bit of upward rotation for the shoulder blades, keeping it nice and healthy. So if you can't do a push it down dog, just do a downward dog. Downward dog, Tom. Perfect. And if you want to bang out a breath out of the top, by all means do it. So five of those. Now, once you've done that, we're going to move into a Spider-Man stretch. So the Spider-Man stretch is a total body stretch. So you're going to bring your left leg to your left, leg to your left hand. You're going to reach out long. Reach long with the down arm and exhale. So reach out, reach out long, exhale at the top. You're trying to get with this, your foot to your hand and keep your heel down and drive your knee forwards over your toes, but keeping your hip, your heel down. So creating a little bit of, mo bit of mobility through your ankle. But also you can see you're getting a big hip stretch here, but you're also getting a good bit of mobility through the upper back as well. Again, five each side. Once you've done that, we're now on our feet. We're gonna work on a little bit of balance here. We're gonna do a knee hug. So with knee hugs, I want two hands just below, you, just below your knee and try to bring your knee right into your chest. Brilliant, good. Ollie, my star people here, smashing it. Tom, what are we doing here, buddy? Giving it a go. Giving it a go, mate, that's it, brilliant. So five each other of those. <laughs> And then we're going to finish off a lateral split squat. So it's important to work that sort of lateral plane as well. And here, both feet facing forward, so toes out a little bit, sorry. Toes a little bit, hips outside of the shoulder width distance. And you're going to sit into your right side and reach long. And then push the floor away and stand tall. And then to the other side. You're ensuring you're keeping your feet down throughout. And a leg that's straight, keep it straight so that knee doesn't bend. And you should feel a nice little stretch in your inside thigh of the straight leg and you should feel your butt working at the same time as well. And I would like five each side of those. So there you have it. There's our mini mobility warm-up or warm-up. <laughs> Perfect.